Paul. I know you from Eva Restaurant on Beverly Boulevard. Yes, yeah. you do. Tonight we're not at Eva. We no. are a place that you're working at. And I had a very good dinner called Sadi on Las Palmas in downtown Hollywood. Um, Sadi is the grandma's owner first name. So it never ever. Like Eva, Eva is like also your grandma and your yeah. daughter's name. I'm cooking at someone else's grandma's house. So, I know your restaurant, Eva, for being there a few times, and I know you almost do fine dining over there. And here at Sadi, you're doing bistro food, and I don't know, I've had many, many dishes tonight, and I don't know how you can completely reinvent yourself to what you would have tonight. It was so well done, and it was, it was exactly more gold into the bistro cuisine. And if I had one suggestion to tell you, I would say to not change anything on that menu. Well, thank you very much. On the menu or the way you do it. So we started with a duck egg. Yes. And the duck egg is something that we've become, almost I've become almost known for my egg, whether it be in Eva or here at Sadie. At Sadie, we've done a little bit more, um, not as fussy. So we've taken an egg and just with really uh, things that we find in the spring, uh, whether it be spring garlic, pea tendrils, peas, um, things that you find at the market this time of year. And so just very, very simple. Just clean, simple, try to like just tone it down a little bit. And then mussels? And the mussels, for me it was always, you know like, the hardest part for me is like going from fine dining and trying to do more of a comfort, rustic kind of approach, and that's kind of been my struggle. And so what I've done is instead of doing steamed mussels, and you throw them in a saute pan, put some wine, trees or whatever, and butter, and then you steam them open, and you throw them in a bowl, what we've done is we've taken the, the mussels, and we've steamed them open gently, and as they open up, we pull them, uh, pull them out, and then we uh, take the mussels out of the shell, and actually take the juice that we put them in, add the trees, add the butter, so we glaze the mussels back in their own cooking uh, juices, and then spoon that over a little uh, sweet onion puree. And so that's kind of a different approach, but still kind of rustic, but not so much fine dining. Well, you don't want to do fun in here, but it's, no, 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 it's no. perfect for, for the location with that great patio that you have in the back and those two bars as you walk in. Um, tell me your pork belly. What the, if You eat the pork belly and there are layers of different flavors on that pork belly. There's a top, there's a, on top of the top, and there's in between, and there's in the bottom. What is it that you have in there? So what we've done with the pork belly is we've cooked it. We actually uh, confit it in clarified butter. And once we confit it, we pull it out and then we press it. Uh, once pressed, when we do an order to pick up, we trim off the ends so we get a nice little uh, perfect rectangle. And then we take those ends that we cut, and then almost like a chicharrones, we like just crisp them up. And then so as we heat up the pork belly in a sea bath, which is a low temperature oven, um, really, you're not melting away the fat. The fat actually becomes part of the dish, and it actually eats as one. And so you have layers of meat, of fat, um, and then on top, we put the chicharrones that we've crisp up the, the the end pieces, and we put that on top with a little bit of yuzu koshu, a little soy sauce, and then spring garlic. So you get different layers of meat, fat, crunchy, and then a little bit of garlic. Yeah, that's very... Uh, and that's spice, good. and yeah, spice. Yeah, but different tastes on yeah. every bite, and you know, suddenly bite. Uh, halibut. Yeah, halibut's very good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. You liked it? Or I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> I liked it, and then yeah, I like yeah, the, yeah. the, the presentation. Yeah. And then you, you, then you brought us a. Oh, I just made that up. Uh, salmon salad with grilled spinach and garlic. It was, it was very well done. Yeah, you know that was something like, like I was telling you earlier. Um, for me, it's about uh, my cooking is all about is inspiration. And so when people such as yourself come in or other chefs, uh, it really inspires me to do new things and kind of get my my thoughts flowing again. So. One thing, we had some beautiful Bloomsdale spinach in the, in the walk-in and some beautiful wild salmon. Um, so I just decided to simply sous vide the salmon and do like a grilled spinach, almost like a salmon salad. Uh, grill the spinach on the stems and everything, right on top of the salmon, a little uh, green garlic uh, emulsification, almost like a dressing, and then uh, grilled uh, green garlic as well, spring garlic. It's just very, very simple, but very like, just clean, you know? And a little bit more yeah, rustic, and the salmon spinach had, on top. The salmon has the halibut was perfectly cooked. Yeah, yeah. The way I like it, the medium rare in the center. Yeah, yeah. Uh, duck with carrots. Yeah. And I know you love carrots. Uh, and um, black rice. Yeah. And 
knife too nice pieces of pressed duck. Yep. Very, uh, uh, yeah, so we use a Drake duck breast here, which is the male duck, and uh, just really crisp up the skin, get it nice and crispy, and serve it medium rare. It's very, very simple. So it's just good product. Good carries from the market, and, and just good duck. And you did want me to try the meat well. Is that meat that you serve me? So we use the cap from the ribeye, which we've been doing for many years now. I started this when I was way back uh, 10 years ago. And so what we do is we take the cap, we pound it, uh, we roll it, we tie it into a cylinder, and then we cook it at 59 degrees Celsius for one hour. And then we just really put it back on the, put it on some, over some charcoal, get some smoke on it, and then just finish with a little bit of soy sauce. Really good soy sauce. Real soy sauce. Not the fake stuff. So dessert will come back next time. For the How about the but, mandarin? But yeah, the mandarin is yeah. really good. You cut some uh, fresh mandarin and, uh, and right now the uh, pizza dessert with some cocktails from the bar. Very good. Thank you, chef. Thank, Thank you. you.